Hello and welcome to Eli and Eden Creative. My name is Pam and this is a project that we're going to be working on. I'm so thankful that you're here with me today and I would ask that you would give me a thumbs up so that more people can find my channel. And now that I have that out of the way, let's get creative. Okay, just wanting to give credit where credit is due. The origin for this pin is from tannybrown.org and it's her blog that's dated in 2011. This is the particular pin that I found and fell in love with. And it is a quilt that is made by Irene McWilliam. It's 39 by 39, and it's called You Can't Put a Hole Where a Hole Don't Belong. So my first pull here was not a success. And I feel about as blue as that paper is about it. So I cleaned off my jelly plate and cleaned it up some more with some yellow. I was sort of doing a test to see if the yellow would be the one that I'd want. And it turns out it wasn't the one that I wanted. So I went with a yellow ochre. That seemed to feel better to me. I decided also to get an extremely large piece of paper and I am just using actually that's a paperweight to uh, instead of a baron I don't have a baron but I figured this would work pretty good and guess what it does it works great so this is a lovely pull feels good I didn't even realize that I did that with the paper until I started doing the voiceover for this video. I decided to cut this page out and uh, now I'm laying down a polka dot mask that I created over top of my jelly plate and then I'm adding that white to the top for my polka dots. Just brayering that on, trying to be as um, have everything equal throughout, not heavy handed in one area and really light in the other. Uh, the words are escaping me right now. Anyway, putting that yellow page back on to those polka dots. Even coverage is actually the words that I were I was going for. Oh, please have patience with me. Oh, I thought it was ready, but guess what? It wasn't. So we had to wait a little bit, little bit longer. I'm getting a little tongue tied here. And here we go. Here's the luscious, beautiful pull. Oh. I was so happy with that. Now I had leftover polka dots on my jelly plate so I decided to use this magenta and deli paper to remove that off of the plate. And it worked beautifully. Then I decided to go with uh, turquoise deep for my color just getting the ex excess paint off of my brayer because I'm trying to keep everything as pristine and perfect as possible which is really tricky on a jelly plate if you've ever used one I decided that this paint was a little bit too, too translucent so I added some white to dial up the opacity Now, doing this print, I found it to be very, very difficult, actually, because I needed to be so precise. But I was up for the challenge. I, I really, really love that. So <laughs> that I love, that um, jelly pull, that pull there when I was getting the blue out. 
and I used that magenta, sorry, the turquoise color. So I kept doing it just because I wanted to make sure it was as clear and perfect as I could. And then I laid down that page as carefully as I could, trying to line everything up. And this was so satisfying. Oh my gosh. It was, it's, it's cool when the idea in your head starts to work in real life. So here's a slow motion. Oh yeah moment. And I got really close to, or I zoomed in for you as well. So we have some crimson and white here for the last pull. Trying to get everything as smooth and no lines as possible. And then I remembered that I needed to offset those circles and have it not exactly the same. So I flipped that mask over and I moved it over to one side more and then again with the deli paper doing the pulls so that I get as much of that beautiful crimson color off of the plate that I could I went in for three and there we are now I'm going to be a little bit risky here and use a wobbly gel plate and try to line it up. I just really wanted it to line up well and it seems to have worked. I, just so you know, have asked my husband to make me some firm um, plexiglass plates that I can set my jelly plates on so I don't have to take chances like that in the future. So I'm taking this time to just show you the different deli papers that I did while we're waiting for it to dry not sure what I'm gonna do with that yellow one and there's my problem child that I still feel a little bit sad about but maybe something will come all right oh here we go And we have lift off. It's gorgeous. I am so happy with the way it turned out. Gonna just do a little bit of um, a close up and a slow down to show you a little bit more of the detail. It was it was uh, curling a little bit, so I just fixed that there. I am feeling very proud of myself. I decided to try again with that blue print, so I added a red layer and then a yellow layer. It's not my favorite, but it's pretty good. So here is that pin again that I had saved forever and which was the inspiration for this jelly print. And here's the jelly print that I was able to pull. I think it worked out pretty good. Thank you for joining me today.